Okay, Reapings, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Serious Quiz Adventures in Dark Souls 3. I went back to this very fiery looking place. Uh, cause there. Uh, I don't know, there, there still must be stuff here. There's this hallway, I don't. I actually don't remember where any of these lead to. So, let's just have a look around. I'm also wondering if we find some. Summons here, or like invasions. I mean, these guys are so weird. I like the bird face. So, there was this one room that's like it has a few people inside, but besides that, it didn't seem like it had anything else going on except for this giant demon looking thing. Uh, and I believe we tried all the walls as well. Might come back later if I feel like I haven't found anything else, but it did not look like there was anything, so. And also we got into these rooms by going down uh, secret passages, right? Hidden walls and such. This is the big main room where we were at the beginning. I think over there is where the other bonfire is. We came in first. Yeah, we always went around the corner, fought this guy in the corner there. Maybe. And then went to this side. I think that's how this is. And then down here are all the other two guys fighting and such. So I don't think there was more down there. Uh, there was one more thing. Let's just run through this. There was one more thing here last time there was an enemy waiting down here I guess he's walking around uh, not sure if I should wait or just go for it hello slimes we also been over there on this side wait did we go down here then Oh, I'll just go. Hello. Oh, is that toxic? I didn't know they were doing toxic. I thought it was poison. Well, maybe I knew. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. A few days. Hmm. Hmm. To use my head and think. I am lost. So normally I'm pretty good with directions and such. Oh, there's a summoning here. Graffiri. <laughs> sure. Uh, usually I'm pretty good with directions. But this place is really confusing to me. And that's the bonfire again. Hmm. Was there really nothing else, I wonder? Why would she want to be summoned here, though? See, that's suspicious. That was just an item. I remember this. Yeah, I kicked. <laughs> oh, crap. Stamina. I was playing Dark Souls 1 a little bit earlier too, and I kept kicking without wanting to kick. And at this one, I can never get the kick to work, so it's interesting. Something's different here for sure. But yeah, why would there be a summoning? It, should, it could just be that she's trying to show people the secret way, or... <laughs> the secret way, the, the, the hidden wall. Or she she's being summoned to go this way, coming from this bonfire. So maybe there's actually something nearby still that I don't know about. Oh, see, this time I kicked too. I wanna, you know what, actually, I wonder if it's the controller. Because I am using a different one, because I mentioned a few episodes ago that the controller I was using had like a 
the attack button got stuck. Maybe that's why I couldn't do kicks. I should give it a shot again, because I'm using the new one now. It's not new, it's old, but... I meant to say I'm using a different one. Let's see, can I kick? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I don't know what's up with this, okay. Lots of demon bodies. This place is really confusing. I maybe I should just rewatch my videos, see if I saw something, but also That's where the Black Knight was. And that goes back to that main room. Was there more upstairs? I, I don't remember. I really don't remember. Maybe um yeah, I was going to say I have quite a few souls, so I kind of don't want to die, but whatever. I don't think there was anything in this room. Did we go this way? Hold on a second. Hold on just a second. No, we have not. I don't think we have. This doesn't look familiar at all. Okay. So I was going to say, we didn't get... I don't think we got anything fancy out of here. I don't remember... Getting anything. This healing thing is really cool. Fuck wall. What does that mean? Illusionary wall. Not a fog wall, what are you, scrub? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, yeah, we've seen this from the other side. Also, what's down here? Okay, that's a different spot, too. Okay, cool. I'm glad we found something new. Because I really didn't see anything. This is... This looks like uh, Quilag. Quile Quiliana. Okay, she's one of the sisters or whatever they were called. Quilag was a spider boss in uh, Dark Souls 1. She was like half spider, half woman. A pyromancy tome of Quilana containing her unique spells. These pyromancies can only be taught by a female master. Give to a female pyromancer master to learn Quilana's pyromancies. Quilana, the sole surviving witch of Isolus, once accepted a human pupil, but after the pupil moved on, she never took another. I don't remember, but it's possible that Quilana was the pyromancer in Dark Souls 1. Sadness ahead. It's possible. And you are probably the human they were talking about. So, she won't teach us pyromancies. What's going on on here? Yep, that looks more like the demon ruins that I remember. No, actually the the lost city of Isolus, I believe it was called. It was like covered in lava too. So... Hmm. Just thinking. I do have the flash sweat, right? I don't know how much it will. Nope, nope, nope. That's a lot of fire damage. Okay, let's keep this in mind. Let's go the other way first, maybe. We have a flame bite ring and stuff. Didn't mean to hear myself there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is way too much fire. Um, we could probably boost it with some rings and such still, but I want to see if we find something else here that will help us out first. Okay, that's a death trap. I'm I'm really starting to wonder because at the beginning I thought they're making too many references to Dark Souls One, and I felt like it was more like fan service than anything else. But maybe this really is still the Dark Souls One areas. Like, maybe this is really the lost city of Isolus here. 
and the demon ruins. Maybe that really is the filing shrine and just throughout time it has changed? Well, I don't know why. Maybe it's all an illusion. Maybe it's... I don't know. I, I really don't know, but... You know, there's a lot of places in here that could be the same place as in Dark Souls 1. I mean, like the Iris Seal... Iris Seal of the uh, Boreal Valley or whatever it's called. I think that's, like, <laughs> very unique. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I should check these walls for hidden. Illusionary walls. And I... Bam. Is this one maybe here? Did this one look different? I don't know why I picked that one. I, I just had a feeling. Maybe looked a bit different. What are you? You're an actual chest. You can actually also see if they have like teeth moving. But because the chain is like curled up. Oh, that sounds like a... Uh, Basilisk. What is up in this place? This place is just illusionary walls. Yeah, it is a basilisk. You can get a jump on him or on them and an item. Hmm. Hmm. I keep doing that. Uh, we met Siegmaya. In I was recording Dark Souls 1 with my girlfriend again a little bit. And we met Siegmaya. Spoiler alert, I guess. But. And uh, ever since he's like, still closed, still closed, mm, I'm still saying it. It's always stuck in my head. Uh, okay, now I'm actually curious if any of the other ones are. Uh, I don't know if I should roll into them or just punch them. I feel like rolling is always safer in case there's someone behind the wall. You don't want to accidentally punch them, but I also don't want to roll through the wall and then into an area. Isolus staff. We are totally in Isolus. It is Isolus here. This guy might actually reach me. Let's remove this sword. Okay, let's take care of these guys first. Nope, nope, nope. I hate this stuff. Okay, should be good, you know. Uh, where is it? I guess it's over in this magic area. Ancient catalyst of the Witch of Isolus and her daughters, used long before the dawn of chaos and of pyromancy. With the birth of the Chaos Flame, the flame which is where at once both sorcerers and sh shamans face it just the power of sorceries cast using this catalyst. And the staff also seems to boost the power of dark sorceries. Wait, faith? To cast sorceries? Isn't that usually intelligence? That is interesting, okay. I mean, I don't know... <laughs> I don't know much about the magic side of things in Dark Souls, really. But that sounds like something new. Um, yeah, another thing I'm thinking about is... So... The Witch of Aetherless is the one that... Tried to create her own flame. And... Miserably failed. <laughs> failed miserably, I mean. Uh, she, instead, she created demons. The first demons. Um, and I think she did this by... In the uh, the flame she tried to create turned into the Bed of Chaos, which is this giant fiery being that is also a tree. Like, it's sort of like wooden stuff. Like, it, yeah, I guess it's a giant tree and inside is a flame. And so far, there has been a lot of tree-related... Seems. Look at all these spider pockets, probably. Oh, I hope there won't be spiders in this. 
So, I don't know. I guess it really is the idolist place. And Demon, Demon Ruins was connected to um, Idolist as well. And we have been to the Demon Ruins. In fact, I think this is actually the Demon Ruins here right now. So this is the staircase we saw, which we should have, or would have come down instead. Also punching or hitting these walls with the sword damages your sword. Also reason why you want to roll. This uh, is a big tree as well. Maybe that's one of the roots? For, no, there's another one here. And also all these tree people in the undead settlement. Maybe it has something to do with this. Pyromancy seems to be a big thing for some reason here. I feel like we run into a lot of things that mentions pyromancy. It's like a gate. Or some bars. Um, I don't know. I don't know. There, I feel like there's still... There's some interesting stuff going on here. What is this down there? It looks like a cross. I feel like if I feel like it might be something like a contraption or something. No, I think it's just a wall actually. The trees there just look like it. Like something odd. Oh, we're back at this lava place now, huh? Are we gonna fight? Um... Whoa! so much we all fought you though yeah we can totally break through this okay don't do that ow oh, this attack oh he does a double I'm do greedy Ah, oh, shoot. He got my guard there. I tried to roll, but the tree, <laughs> the tree was in the way. Dang you, tree! So that's interesting. We're fighting Sorek now, the actual one. Not his phantom. He freaked me out so much because he just showed up there. Now, how did I get there? <laughs> I don't remember. I think it's down here, right? Oh, God, this place is crazy chaotic. Is it faster to go from the other bonfire? I wonder? No, I don't think so. I think the other bonfire is more dangerous. You can probably actually run there, maybe? See, we, well, we have those dogs in here. Uh, they're not dogs, but like... I mean, they're walking on all fours, so I keep pulling them dogs. But the same guys. Oh, large Titanite chance. It's gonna drop now. And the small ones might be. I wonder if the uh, the lucky coins drop more. Also, why? Um... Oh, that was for this illusionary wall. I was wondering why that thing is there. That note. Got it. Got it. Makes sense now. So I guess we can just keep going this way, right? We can get the drop on the giant rat. Oh, actually. Oh no, that's fire. Goodbye, rat. <laughs> it's not the right place. Uh, it is through here. That guy, man, he is... I actually, I feel like I had a good strategy at, against him at first. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that was a lava thing. I was going to say, wasn't there something else I wanted to come back to? Was there another rat? No. Um, when he does that supercharge move, if I hit twice, it seems like 
that breaks his guard, so he can't do it. Uh, but all the other moves seem still pretty, pretty dangerous. Okay, so we need to go through these basilisks again. I don't know if it's better to go from this side or the other side. Is there less ambushes or something? What if I stay on this side? No, they're coming too. Oh, that's a lot. Can I do that to Sorik? Oh, oh, oh! No, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> oh, that was too close. Ooh, that was way too close. No, 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 no. If we stay in there for a little bit, I think we're screwed. Okay, two at once. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Got these guys. I thought maybe I can avoid a lot of them, but I guess not. Ooh, careful now. Okay. 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 Well, I could also just go forward and up the stairs, but I do want to try to kill him. I don't know where he was, though. He's probably going to heal, I'm guessing. He must have been like... Oh, yeah, there he comes. Okay. I need to read his moves better. Ah, oh, don't do that. Don't block it. Yeah, he does double now. Okay. Yeah. And then don't attack again, you idiot. Okay. That went a little bit better. Fume Ultra Sword. Black Iron Gracia. Is that from the Fume Knight from Dark Souls 2? I wonder. The Twisted Sword, the heaviest of all ultra great swords, resembles Black Slate. I feel like we saw another great sword that said the same, that it's the heaviest. Oh, it was the heaviest of great swords. This is an ultra great sword. This weapon said to belong to a trader from long ago was so oh this weapon, said to belong to a trader from long ago, was so heavy that it found no owner and became a forgotten relic of history. I think it might be from him. And uh, what else did we get? Uh, was it a shield, right? Great shield made of black iron, deeply feared for its association with Night Slayer Torik. Sorik. Black iron offers high defense and is practical, uh, pra uh, particularly effective at warding of fire. Hmm. It has a bash. Yeah, well, we definitely need something here to get past all this fire. I'm guessing those were Dark Souls 2 references, maybe? There's two items here. And maybe some illusionary walls, I don't know. It's hard to tell, I guess. <laughs> like, any wall in this could be one now. Uh, we do have... Let's see, actually, we do have this one, increased fire damage absorption. We have also, where is it, this one, increased fire attack. Oh, it's attack, never mind. And is there anything that, an item that increases fire? I don't, fire damage absorption. Yeah, the block, the buck pellets. So we could use flesh sweat, armor, the ring, and buck pellets to get our... 
Oh no, it's a black knight. <laughs> to get our stuff up. I have a lot of souls, but I wonder if we can make him drop. Uh, he might drop a cool item though. I'm guessing lava is down here. Well, if he dies, we can relock and we get the item too. Might be tricky though to do. Also, you might not actually be an enemy. <laughs> I'm guessing he is one. Wait, is this a trap? Uh, why do I have a bad feeling about this now? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do this. Just in case. Get a little bit more fire defense. Maybe we can kick him off somehow. No. Yeah. Ah, crap. Not going so well. Try to parry, but it's difficult. Ooh, I didn't. I was spamming my roll button like crazy. I don't know why I was attacking there. He didn't drop anything. <laughs> okay. Oh, level loading in over there. Geometry loading. Solo. Did I read this right? Soul of a crestfallen knight. <sighs> Let the fire keep it transform. Okay. Is this our crest? No, it can't be our crestfallen knight. Otherwise, he wouldn't be a corpse there, I don't think. Like an old corpse like that. Yeah, that is very strange. Oh, that's a giant ladder. What the? What the? <laughs> That's the longest ladder I've ever seen. Oh, is this maybe for the catapult? I can't look higher. Ugh, trying to see stuff. Can't see anything. Jeez. Anything on the way? No. Oh, it's oh, there's more. Wait, there is more. Hmm. Let's keep climbing. Okay, there's an item. Which we can get by dropping. And once I... Yeah, okay, it should be fine. Dragon Rider Bow. Is that a giant bow? Longbow of the Dragon Riders who served the old King of Wand. The dragon riders were the old king's royal guard, and great strength was demanded of them. Merely drawing this bow calls, the, calls for inhuman strength. The worthy few who can master this bow, however, use it to a dev devastating effect. His puncture just goes through shields. 19 strengths. Does this need... Bigger arrows too, maybe? I'm guessing the king of wand is the one from Dark Souls 2. Which, I don't remember what his name was. Yeah, can't remember. <laughs> I think the queen was Nashandra? Maybe? Yeah, I can't remember what his name is. Aha! Okay, the catapult is behind this pillar. Bone wheels. Oh god. No. 
not coming this far. Oh, they're on the other side, though. Destroying these walls gonna help. There's a lot of sounds again, I don't like. Timing was off. I feel like just making it to the catapult would be good so we can take it out maybe. So we can explore widely. Where are these bone wheels down? They must be here somewhere. There they are. I'm always checking if they give me souls. If they do, I'm guessing they don't come back. Yeah, let's go this way first. I could try my blessed weapon now, but whatever. Two hand? No, I don't think two hand makes a difference. In backstabbing here. See, he didn't give me souls. I don't think. Maybe he did. I don't trust it. Ah, oh, God. Oh, so many of them. Oh, that's a catapult right there. It's not shooting now, though. Okay, can I pull one of you at a time? Two would definitely kill me. One might kill me. <laughs> I'm so bad against those. I should just roll to the side when they do that crazy attack there. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> I'm like, you know, muscles are tensed up again. Okay. Oh, is that, um... Uh, Irisil? I don't know if I say this right. Irisil? I think that's what you say, maybe. Hello. Is it still moving? Stop doing that. That was my last Estos, by the way, so <laughs> that's that. So there's not too much else here. Who is controlling this, I wonder? Is it a giant? Oh yeah. No, he's dead though. But the BT is. Then who's... Is it just automatic then? Friendship. <laughs> uh, not much friendship. It's gonna be halved. Halved? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, you can see beyond that wall or so, there's more of these trees on fire. So I'm actually curious if those are really the ashen, uh, the trees on the ashen lake just like burning now. Okay, let's turn this thing off. 
I was actually wondering if we could control it. To kill the crabs and everything. And a giant worm. Hmm. There's no way to like actually steer it, right? So it's weird. Sometimes it pops up even though I shouldn't be able to. So let's see, this turns it on normally. Okay. Well, leave it off then, I guess. Is there anything else up here? I mean, there's still the bone wheels down below. Uh, my health is not great, but it's also not terrible, so... I'm hoping it will be fine. Might as well quickly make sure we explore this up here all. Before we leave. It's good that you can see the other areas for me as well. It feels like it's all connected. There's only two, two bones though, because if it is, then I'm not too concerned. Oh, yeah. That's why they're dangerous, because they keep doing this. <laughs> what is he doing? Trying to punch me? Don't you want to drop your... Actually, let's use a coin to increase our drop chance for items. Item discovery. Maybe we can get off this thing as a weapon. You used to be able to in the other Dark Souls games. I'm guessing you can too. Is this a trap? Anything? Nope. I don't know. Maybe we can't get it. Don't give up, skeleton. They haven't. They haven't gone crazy with these skeletons yet. Those bone real ones, which makes it a little bit suspicious, to be honest. But I think that might have been it. Let's see. This is the other side, right? We've seen the skeletons walk around on this side. Yeah. This is where we were just were at. So we. So the stuff that's left to do, I guess, is find or acquire the items in the lava, but. For that we need A, Astus Flask, and B, really good protection against fire. Let there be bonfire. There's not no, is there? I'm not missing a bonfire. I don't know if like, destroying these things would do something. Like if there's items on top or something, no. Huh. I hope I didn't miss a bonfire up there. I don't think I did. But yeah, I will have to end the episode here then. Uh, you know what? Might as well go to Fighting Shrine. And, uh... I don't know. I might level up or something. Let's see. Actually, let's check it out right now. Crestfallen. Nothing. Did we... Ah. Get anything else here? Uh, not really. I need to... Buy more arrows to get feather arrow. Uh, cause I'm running low, but. <laughs> like how she lost. Very well, then. Uh, we could probably level up once, yeah. Uh, let's do. We said we were gonna go full dexterity, I guess. Let's just do this. Level 49. But yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope you guys, uh, guys enjoyed. Thanks all for watching. I'll see you guys then. Bye bye.